And that leads us into this segment, our last segment of the podcast. I got this idea from a Snapchat. Looking at ESPN Snapchat, and they basically had the question, what's better for the Dallas Cowboys, Johnny Football or RG3? Mark, you're Jerry Jones. You own the Dallas Cowboys. You're a fantasy football owner in a real owner's seat. Who do you take to back up Romo, football or RG3? I'm going to take RG3. First of all, I don't want anything to do with Johnny Football. Even though I am Jerry Jones in this situation, I don't want anything to do with him. I think he's a disaster. I think he's waiting to fall apart. I think he also does not have it in him to be a backup. You know RG3, who, I think, can be a backup. I'm going to interrupt you for a second. You know who Jerry Jones reminds me of? Who? That Simpsons character with the cowboy hat and the guns. He's like, oh, woohoo! Yeah. Pretty much. And that's Jerry Jones. Yeah, I just think that RG3 can be a backup quarterback. If he doesn't have to play all the time, he will be good if he needs to come in. Because that way his knees will actually be healthy and there's less risk of them falling apart mid-game. Um, and ankle. It's an ankle injury that he had, right? Not the mm-hmm. knees. Um, well, he did the stanky leg and broke it. Yeah, it's gone. The leg is gone. But he And the thing about RG3 is I respect his game intelligence more so than I do RG3s. I mean, sorry, RG3s more so than Johnny Football's. Johnny Football, he's a guy who goes out there and makes plays. It doesn't really work out as well in the NFL, seemingly, well, as in college. But RG3, I respect him as a student of the game just a little bit yeah, more well, than to go Johnny off, Manziel. To go off of that, what I feel like RG3 is going to do is Johnny Football still hasn't like mm-hmm. got it in his head that I can't do what I did in college. I can't go out there. Run around because I'm the most athletic guy out there. Try and Russell make, Wilson it. Make guys miss. Yeah, but Russell Wilson's a student of the game as well. He's smart. Well, I'm saying that, that yeah. Johnny Manziel's trying to yeah, Russell he's Wilson, trying to not be realizing Russell, that But he's really trying to go off of natural talent. He's like, and this is me in my own life being a music guy because I studied music in college. He's the guy that tries to go off of natural talent. Mm-hmm. Doesn't put the work in in the practice room. Doesn't work on his music. Just comes into rehearsal. I'm going to go off a natural talent. That's Johnny Football. RG3 to me is kind of getting to that. I, I say it's the Cam Newton mentality of not just a pocket passer, maybe more of the Big Ben mentality of, you know what? I have legs. I have good legs. I'm quick. However... I don't have to run to run. I can run to pass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think RG3, too, has realized that, hey, this didn't work for me. It kind of failed. I kind I of broke my else. leg. Yeah, I got to try something I kind of else. broke my he, leg. I mean, here's another comparison we can use. He did the Mike Vick thing when Mike Vick first came uh-huh. to Philadelphia and changed the way he played. He didn't play like Atlanta Mike Vick anymore. Well, he didn't was older, too. Term. He was a lot older. RG3 is getting a little older now, too. He's 25, I mid-20s. Know. I'm just saying when Vick came to Philly— Oh, after yeah. jail, after being with the Falcons, he was mm. a lot older than for he sure, was. For sure, for sure. But RG3 has the hits yeah. and the injuries to make his body older. Yeah. Also, fun fact about RG3, he was born in Japan. I didn't know that. Really? He was born in Japan. He was he, Over his three years, because he didn't play this past year, mm-hmm. guess how many times he was sacked? RG3? Uh-huh. Just regular season. It's got to be a lot. 101. Wow. Including the playoffs, he was sacked 103 times in his career. I was thinking in my head, I'm like, a lot, like 80. Yeah. I wasn't even close. Thir- 30, 38, and 33. Two sacks in the playoffs. That's rough. That one playoff game he played in. I just think for any team that Johnny Manziel goes to, he's mm-hmm. going to be bringing the circus. And, I, and yes, Jerry Jones likes <sighs> the circus, but it's just... For most teams, it's just destructive. I mean, you've seen how he's mm-hmm. kind of disrespected the Browns. Time and time again. You just don't give him what he wants, and that's what he's going to do. I see no reason to think that he's not going to be a whiny little baby brat and <laughs> just be like, I'm not. I'm still not starting. Oh, whiny. Well, forget it. A I'm going, to, little baby I'm going to Vegas. Dallas is closer to Vegas than Cleveland is. It's even easier. I okay. want RG3. This, this brings me into a thing I just want to throw out there because we brought up the Cowboys, and this, Johnny Manziel, if he went to the Cowboys— it would be a similar situation. I, I'm, I'm saying similar. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying exact. I'm saying similar to Greg Hardy. 
And the reason why I say that is as of today, Jeremy Mincy, the guy who was behind Greg Hardy on the depth chart. Now, this could be also because he's a free agent also and wants to keep his job with the Cowboys. He's come out and said that the the tension is grew with Cowboys teammates as the season progressed. For sure. With Greg Hardy. And he's even said that, you know what, it's going to be hard for the Cowboys to keep Greg Hardy because of that tension. Mm-hmm. Now, Johnny Football, it'd be a different kind of tension, but there will still be tension with Johnny Football if he does what yeah. Johnny Football does. It's not going to be like, wow, I hate you because you beat your girlfriend and I don't like you as a human being. It's going to be more of like, God, we got a fucking kid in this locker room mm-hmm. kind yeah. of thing. Like, Tony Romo is not going to want to babysit Johnny Football. Oh, no. And that that, that comes a part of it, too. Is Johnny Manziel... If he, whichever one of these, oh, I guess I should say whichever. If Johnny Manziel goes to Dallas, uh-huh. he is the quarterback in waiting. He's going to assume that once Tony Romo hangs it up, he's going to take over and this is his team. However, I don't know if RG3, RG3 will probably be thinking that too, but I think RG3 will understand I got to earn the job. Yeah. Well, and also RG3, the thing that I worry about with Johnny football, and am I saying he can't do this? No, but I'm saying he has to do it. Is RG3, I feel like, will come in, be like, you know what? I lost that starting job. I have no entitlement. I'm going to mm-hmm. work hard, and when that time comes, if they put the starting job in my hand, I'm going to prove to them that I deserve that job, and that's how they are going to give me the job. However, with Johnny Football, I and this is my opinion, this is assumptions for me up the ass, I think he comes in. I think he doesn't change. I don't think the structure is there in Dallas for him to change. And he's just going to be like, oh, I'm the starter when he's done. Mm -hmm. And then when he's not, because of everything he's going to not do up to that point, he's going to be a little cancer in the locker room. It's not even two of the when Tony Romo leaves. I think Johnny Football is going to sit there. The first mistake Tony Romo makes, he's going to be thinking, all right, I got this. Let me get in there. Well, because he's... and he's cocky, once it and doesn't that could be work a good out, thing to have. However, yeah. Once it doesn't work out and Tony Romo's still out mm-hmm. there and he's you know ma- making the mistakes the way Tony Romo can do sometimes, Johnny Football's not going to be a happy guy. The only thing that Johnny Football has going for him in this argument is he's from Texas. I mean, you could say the same for RG3 because he went to Baylor. Mm-hmm. However, RG3 doesn't I, – I don't really think there's that tie – to Texas as much as Johnny Football. Where Johnny Football, it's where is he partying on the weekend? Where have we seen him? Yeah. Now, that's another topic of RG3 doesn't do that. Mm-hmm. He could hang out in Texas, and I don't know because he's not partying and he's not yeah. that high of a caliber. But I would only go with Johnny Football if I knew that you were going to shape up. That's it. And you don't. No. You don't. That's why you go with RG3. Yeah, I— there's nothing really – there's no way in my mind I can think that Johnny Manziel is the better option. RG3, better passer rating. Mm-hmm. He's had more seasons of experience. He's older. He's more mature. He will – I hate to say it this way, but he's, I just think he's going to look better in a Cowboys jersey than Johnny Manziel will. Um, he's probably not going to sell as many jerseys as Johnny Manziel will, but he's not going to cause you as much media strife. And and you know what I will do in case you're listening to this going, oh, guys, I didn't see the Snapchat. As soon as we sign this podcast off, I'm going to go on my my Snapchat. I'm going to screenshot that picture posted on the MVP Twitter at Most Valuable Pod. So make sure to check that out to just kind of see how they put each in a Cowboys uniform. I'm going to say this right now. Johnny Manziel looks a little bit like Tony Romo. They put, like, the backwards Cowboys hat on him. Looks a little bit like to- Tony Romo with the kind of grin they have on him. But do you have any more to say about the Dallas Cowboys and who they should take? Anything else, Mark? Anything we missed today? Just draft a quarterback. <laughs> just, just draft dra- one. Just draft a quarterback. Maybe Connor Cook. He could be there in the second round for yeah. Maybe a Christian Let him Hackenberg. Let sit around for a while. But that's going to do it for the Onside Kick this week. Let us know down below in the comment section 
anything, your thoughts on anything that we talked about today, relocation, talked about the Bengals, talked about the Dallas Cowboys and who they should take, kind of a fun topic at the end. Go ahead and hit us up on Twitter. I'm at Ricky Widmer. Mark is at the with two E's, Mark Weber. Most Valuable Podcast is at Most Valuable Pod. Hit that like and repost button and follow button on SoundCloud. Hit the like and subscribe on YouTube. I want to thank you guys for checking out this podcast. And as always, have a good day, everybody. Thank you for listening to this MVP podcast. Follow us on Twitter at Most Valuable Pod for more great podcasts.